everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's having a great day today. Today I'm gonna to share my Dollarama haul and my little Dollar Tree haul with you guys and it's not that big, so don't blink. <laughs> so let's get right into this. I'm gonna start off with my Dollarama haul and I picked up these cute little socks for little boys, ages 2T, well, it fits 2T to 3T and there's six pairs of socks in here for $4 and they're Hanes. So look at those. I think that they are so beautiful. And I don't care who you are, at any age, you can never have enough socks. So how cute are these? So like I really, these are really, really well made. You can just feel the difference. Um, I also picked these up. So um, my husband and I go out fishing all the time and we always take worms. And I thought, I'm gonna try something a little bit different on my line. I know this sounds crazy, but you just never know. Um, and I picked up these little creatures. Uh, you know, you just cut them up. It just says stretchy creatures, but I'm gonna try them on my fishing rod. You never, never know. I know one time I went out fishing with my husband, we ran out of worms and I had brought something with me. I think it was corn. Uh, or something with corn in it. I'm really not sure. Anyway, I put that on my my line and the fish were biting. So you just never know. So anyway, I picked that up just to see. I'm sure that they won't, but I'm going to try. I also picked this up, this multi-use sewing needles. And what I really wanted it for, this was $1.25. You get 18 pieces in here. But I really wanted it for that little crook in that one uh, needle just because I have a, this leather couch actually. So I have the love seat and I have the sectional and it's a great, great set. But in the seam where we sit most often, it let go in that one area about this long. So I, I have some, my friend who was also my hairdresser, she gave me some uh, thread for just this industrial kind of use. And then she told me to get a needle with a little crook in it. I thought I could get one with more of a round in it, but anyway, I can't, but I'm gonna try it. So we'll give that a try and see if that works. I also picked this double gated uh, carabiner. Is that how I say that? I'm not sure. It's just a clip in, in other words. So $1.25 and it clips up both ends. So I like that. I'm gonna hang some stuff from my purse and this is perfect, my water bottle, whatever. We're gonna take the uh, grandchildren to this place here where I live, um, not far in Morrisburg, Ontario. So it's about 20 minutes from where I live and it's called a prehistoric world. So this gentleman uh, through his whole land built these humongous prehistoric dinosaurs, all different kinds, just beautiful. So if you can Google it, it's called prehistoric world. It's just made on his property. He charges a very simple little admission, but the stuff that he made is unbelievable. So we're gonna take the grandsons there. That'll be fun. I got my husband these work gloves. Uh, these are $4, but these are really good work gloves and he wanted gray, so they had one pair left. So I got that for him. Picked up these rubber bands. These, uh, I use these often at my office. So I just picked up some more just to have. They're $1.25 and you get like a whole bundle. And you know, sometimes you get elastics and they're not really elastic either, really tight. Those are not, those are fabulous. I also picked up a few more of these because like I said before, I'm getting ready for my Christmas uh, items that I want to make for family members and this is perfect. I use these to decorate. Maybe I'll do something like that or I can do an image transfer onto here and then it looks really, really nice. I think I showed it to you guys for my son's Father's Day gift. So I picked up three of these. These are $2 each at the Dollarama but they're really nice quality. I pick through them to always take the best, the, the better ones for me. This is a repurchase. This is the Leclerc cookies. And these are, there's a whole bunch of packs in here. This was $2, um, looks like this. I'll just show it to you really, really quickly. Last time I showed you what the packs look like, but I didn't show you what the box, how many is in this box. Like it, it's really, really good guys. So look at that. All those individual little packs with four cookies in each little pack. And you know, pop those in your lunch, nice little treat. Take them with us whenever we go to Prehistoric World for the grandsons, they will love it. So I got that. And what's a few other things from the Dollarama? I got, I have a few things sitting here from the Dollar Tree. I Believe me guys, I don't have much from the Dollar Tree. Oh yes. So we're having uh, August the 7th actually, uh, next month we're gonna have a little thing for my dad. We always have every year on the anniversary of my dad's death which the anniversary of my dad's death, death is August the 5th. So the Saturday closest to that would be August 7th. So we're having my whole entire family comes over 
and we celebrate my dad's life. And this year we're gonna celebrate the love of his music, so we're gonna have karaoke. Um, I'm looking for records, and then I'm gonna spray them gold, and I'm gonna put them all over the place where we're gonna be singing karaoke. It'll just be fun. Um, and then I pick these up because I may just, these are just like message in a bottle. Is that what it is? Yes. So I picked up these, I was looking for bigger ones, so, but I'm gonna take the little message out of there and I'm gonna put like either a little flower, turn it upside down like this, put a little flower in there. I have some little pins and then some uh, resin flowers in here and just put my dad's name or I don't really know what I'm doing yet, but I'm gonna figure something out. So I got a whole bunch of packs of those. These were $1.25 for nine. And I got this and I was like, yes, please. This is a batter dispenser. It was, it's by Rama Designs and it's $4, but I love it without spilling like I am so so prone to so it just has a nice little handle here and you just click it and I don't know if you can see that but it lets go to let your batter out so I thought yes please I am making I make pancakes all of the time for my grandsons and I make them for my husband too the protein ones um, but I'm making, I don't know if this video, the video for my um, air fryer cinnamon rolls will be up yet. I'm thinking I may have already, I'm going to be putting it up soon. So it probably will be ahead of this video, but it's really, really good. The air fryer cinnamon rolls. Wait till you see the recipe or, or even if you guys give it a try, you'll love it. Um, okay, off track again. Um, I also picked up these. Now, first I'll show you this. I'm, I bought this, this Ramen Design for my uh, silverware drawer because, you know, it's nice to have it like everything runs through it and just take it out, wipe your drawer down. Instead of wiping each one individually out, you know, whenever it's made something like this. So anyway, I got that for my uh, dishes. And then I picked these up, same thing, interlocking design, but this is going to be just for my, you know, junk drawer that we have. So I'll be putting a whole bunch of stuff in these. Um, in my junk drawer. So I'm sure we all have junk drawers. <laughs> so the last things that I'm going to show you from the Dollarama are these Clementine paper ink wall art canvas. Now these were both $4. I cannot make this. I paint. So I'm a, I, I, I do paint. I guess I'm an artist. And um, I can't paint these for $4 because these are really beautiful. I think that they're beautiful. So I got one like this. So this is a bigger one. This, I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet in my house. I just might gift this. This is a beautiful gift. If you're going to a shower, a bridal shower, or even a wedding, like it's gorgeous. So I picked up that one because I really like the colors. And then I got this cutesy patootie. I just think it's so adorable. Again, by Clementine Paper Ink Canvas Art. This is an eight by 10. The other one was 11, 11 by 14. Look at that. And it says, be you bravely. How cute is that? I think it's absolutely adorable. I'm in love with it very, very much. For that price, I can't I can't paint that for that price. So now on to my Dollar Tree haul. I'm just gonna show you guys a couple things that I got. I really didn't get much. Picked up these Crafter Square sponge brush set. I needed some more. I like the slender ones. I do like the bigger ones, but the slender ones is what I always use. So I picked that up for my craft room. I got these rub-on transfers because I have a project in mind. You know, you can put them on anything, your wood projects, but I love the font or how it looks. So I got that. You can put them on anything. See that? So I just love the way it looks. I thought it was really, really beautiful. So I got that. Look at these. I haven't gotten novelty pens in like forever. So I picked up this one, but look at, it has like little jewels or jemmies in there. Isn't it cute? I just love these pens with a beautiful, I love the pink. They had other colors, but I only got that one. Then I picked these up for friend mail, a beautiful gold one with the jemmy on the top and a silver one. So that's wonderful for friend mail, I think. Haven't sent any friend mail out in quite some time. I also picked up, to go along with the these little guys that I picked up, I picked up some of these. So I might just put my dad's picture on some of these. I'm gonna go get more. Hopefully they have more. They didn't have any left. That's why I only got two. And maybe put my dad's picture on there and put them on the middle of the table. I don't know what I'm gonna do for that day. And then I also got another one of these because I'm making quite a few of them. When my daughter seen what I had made with the other one, she's like, mom, I want one. So uh, what I do is I just take um, the a candlestick I put it on the bottom, I paint it white, of course. I put it, I glue it with E6000 on the bottom to this basket, let it let it glue really, really well. Then you just take a cover, like your oven element cover, and this fits perfectly on top. And then I'm gonna paint this white, of course, and then I'm gonna put something, a handle on the top, a 
a little something up there, whatever it is. I, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to put, um, but I thought, you know what? She will love that. So I'm going to make that for my daughter. I picked this up. Are these not the cutest? And I got them mainly because of the little bee in there, but look at these sunflowers. Now it's double-sided, gorgeous. I picked up two of them. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, put them on a canvas, not, I don't know. <laughs> I also picked up these really cute little ribbons and they are just, uh, is that, yeah, gnomes. Little tiny little gnomes, so cute. There is nine feet in here and look at this one. How adorable, really, really cute. I had to dig for these, but I found them so I was really happy. And the last thing that I picked up and it's just a really cute little thing, I'm gonna give it to my daughter and it's just a mood board game, a mood board and it says the mom's state of mind so it says current mind, and you take a little little thing and you put it in the little area where what suits you. So current mood, it says frazzled, laid back, blessed, exhausted, energetic, impulsive, burdened, annoyed. Then it says my mo my mood could be better if you do what I say, stop whining, go to the go to your room, clean up that mess, stop rolling your eyes, give me a break, admit it, I'm right, and go ask your father. So how cute is that? You have a little peg at the back. And you put it in the peg, whichever one is what you're trying to say. So how cute is that? Just a little joke if my daughter will really appreciate it. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I will see you guys soon. Bye, everybody. Thanks for joining me.